Well, y'all, let me show you my new friend. This would be a kind of a juvenile, maybe teenagerish Texas box turtle. Box turtle. And he's a lot smaller than the last one that I saw. Um, he's about half the size, really. I don't even know how long they live. Turtles tend to live pretty long compared to a lot of other animals. And isn't he awesome? I just took a bunch of stills of him. So we're gonna get in close for you. Look at him, look at him. And I'm moving extremely slow because a predator as a predator's about to eat him, they're not going to do that. So if you move slowly, he has not sucked himself into his shell. And uh, if you're expecting a lot of drastic movement from an animal, like, say, you keep turtles, you're not going to get it. <laughs> Maybe one in an aquarium, sure, they're going to swim around. But a box turtle, a box turtle, they conserve their energy... And, you know, they're like all reptiles, they, uh, they regulate their own temperature, cold-blooded, so, like this guy, and he's got sand all over him, or her, could be her, she could be digging a nest, that's possible, not sure, digging a burrow, anyway, here's your box turtle, we'll call it a baby box turtle, although this one's a little, this, it's made a past baby stage. But they get significantly twice that size, if not more. But they're not a gigantic turtle. They are land turtles. So it's not a tortoise. A tortoise is different, but it fills the ecological niche here in many ways of a tortoise. So just giving me a stink eye a little bit, but he'll be all right. What's up? All right. You know, I, last night, I went hiking and dragged my kayak. I went kayaking first and then out to a secluded place you can walk to. And threw my kayak in the bushes. Two hours later, I can't find it because it's just so covered I can't find it. So I ended up hiking out last night, doing an extra four miles of walking. I didn't anticipate most of it in the dark. No flashlight because I use peripheral vision or what you call night vision and it works but very slow and dangerous going stepped and flooded my boots stepped on what looked like land when I was following the shoreline it wasn't you know ran out of a uh, ran out of water and I had half a gallon with me then ran out of water so I have twice as much water today to go and retrieve my boat which I know the approximate position but you know, when you're looking for something and it's almost dark, it's hard to find. Anyway, we're going to shut this video and uh, end this segment. And I will be talking to y'all later. Um, have a fine evening. I'm, and by the way, I'm going to, just to give people an idea of where I'm at, I'm near one of the busiest roads in this county. It's a, and it's a bridge over the San Jacinto River. It's right there. About 100 yards away. Yeah, you can't even see the traffic. But it's a long bridge. You can't get to this area from up there unless you rappel down or walk a half a mile to come down on the bridge. And then you got to know how to get here because there's a body, of, there's a creek. Creek, I said it like a redneck. I said it like a hillbilly. Dang. All right. There is the awesome box turtle. So y'all have a fine day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye now. Well, yeah, I'm going to do another segment here. I got around the other side and said he or she turtle did not freak out. So, and now I'm playing with my zoom, trying to get you in close. There you go. Take a look at Foxy Boxy. Isn't that an attractive turtle? I think it's an attractive turtle. Anyway, you're like, you're nuts. Whatever. And there are people who would love to put that in an aquarium. Technically, that's illegal. You're not supposed, unless you have a permit, and I, I don't even know the particulars, but you're not supposed to pull, even though I've known people who did it, he was actually a fireman, and I had a small one that was uh, about to get run over by my lawnmower, and he's like, oh no, I got an aquarium, so I'm like, all right, <laughs> uh, but 
and the one I have is even smaller. It truly was a baby. Or, a, you know, a, a child. Anyway, Box and Boxy is just soaking up the heat. Heat index is a little over 100. It's not as bad as one table. It's up to 110 heat index. So we're only at 100 degrees heat index. We're in the lower 90s temperature-wise. That's not bad here in August. I'm in southeast Texas, and you can get... 110, 115 heat index. 99, 101, 102. August, that happens. And very high humidity. Anyway, there's Foxy Boxy. And I'm going to get moving. Y'all have a fine evening. Talk to you later. Bye now.